Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Traveling Gun. My name is Thomas, and it feels like I've haven't done one of these in a while. February was a um, a low month of flying for me because I picked up a lot of reserve days. I actually only had one trip that was actually given to me, but I did work um, during the reserve days that I did pick up, but it wasn't a lot, so I didn't film. Um, been on vacation for like the last maybe two and a half weeks went to Cape Town and then I did a cruise with my uncle and my cousins um, I talk about that a little bit later on but uh, today is very early it's a 710 report time for me I do an X and A turn which is Northwest Arkansas and then I end up in Bloomington around two o'clock this afternoon so um, gotta get back into the groove of things because I've been off it seems like for a long, long, long time, but I'm back and we're going to get back into the swing of things until the summer. It's going to be really busy for me until the summertime, but um, I'm going to get ready to get on the show and I'll see you guys once I get to Bloomington. <laughs> Everybody, I made it here to Bloomington. Um, today's flights were very uneventful, very smooth transitioning, getting back into the swing of things. I'm working with somebody that I worked with before. We have a great rapport, so um, I'm, that's always a good thing. But today, I'm gonna tell you something so funny. On this flight to coming to Bloomington, you know, we was uh, deplaning. So a lady, you know, she was just like, hey, my son wants to be a flight attendant. You know, how can you apply? So I was saying, you know, giving her a little rundown of a regional mainline, whatever. So then she proceeds to ask, can she have a life vest to take home? And I'm thinking to myself like, what? Now, and I told her, no, we can't give out the life vest. Now granted, what if we did have life vest on this plane that's up under the seat? Who's to say she wouldn't have just took that life vest and just thought she could take it with her? Um, that's just that was the that's probably one of the weirdest things that I've ever had so far since I've been a flight attendant. Can somebody have a life vest to take home? Um, other than that, go work out. Um, I have fun on my vacation. I um, went on a cruise last week with my uncle and my cousins. Um, you know, um, all my grandparents, my dad's mom and dad, all their grandchildren are boys except one. So that's how I grew up. I grew up around all boys so that's why my mentality is the way that it is why i'm competitive why i think the way i do you know we hold each other accountable we laugh we talk you know junk to each other and everything and it was really fun time on that cruise you know even though i've been the grand turks before and then i haven't been to bimini but um we had a great time and then um you know we're gonna try to make that a yearly thing or whatnot to do something like that with my uh, with my uncle and hopefully the rest of my cousin because we was missing four two because the military the other one already had prior planning and then one just didn't respond to the group text so hopefully we keep that going and um things like that so if i look a little darker it's because i've been in the sun for like the last two and a half weeks you know i got a tan so it doesn't you know it is what it is but um i'm gonna go work out i see you guys tomorrow for 455 van and almost forgot to give you all the view this time that I can show in Bloomington because I'm not on the other side. I'm on the back side of the hotel. Not too much, you know, just a little downtown city view. So hopefully you enjoy. Good morning, everybody. Today is day two of four. Um, four leg day today is going to be, I think, 11 hour, 11 and a half hour duty day, 12 hour duty day, something like that. Um, I go from Bloomington to Atlanta. Atlanta to Charlottesville, back to Atlanta. Then I end up in Monroe, Louisiana today around four o'clock-ish, sometime like that, something like that. I do lose my flying partner because she told me she swapped out of it for something like a higher credit or whatever that was in open time. So I do get a new flying partner once I get back to Atlanta. Um, other than that, that's all that I have to report right now. You know, it's early. It's going on 4, uh, 4.50. Right now, I have to get downstairs, so I'll see you guys a little bit later on once I get to uh, Monroe. All 
Hello everybody, I've made it here to uh, Monroe and uh, I need to say this. This flight coming to Monroe, we had somebody, you know, she rung her call bell button, said that she was sick and she felt like she was gonna throw up. And this was while we were descending. This was initial, after, right after initial descent. So she goes into the bathroom, I'm thinking it's gonna be something real quick. Next thing I know, 10,000 chime happened. Boom, you know, let us know we're below 10,000 feet. Do my last walkthrough. Um, we even made an announce, a couple of announcements for them to go back to the seat. And she's still in the bathroom. Called the captain to let him know someone's still in the bathroom. He was like, listen, we're like 45 seconds out from landing. So I'm knocking on the door. She's not answering. It sounded like she was crying, you know, but I couldn't really tell. I heard something in the bathroom, but with the engines going in the back, I couldn't really tell. So <laughs> we're literally touching the about to touch the runway with the wheels down she opens the bathroom I was like hey, you know you got to come on like i'm just like hurry up hurry up hurry up. she's just taking her sweet time like hey there's nothing else i need to do and then she finally gets back to her seat so she was at the window seat instead of the person that was in the aisle scooting over just so she could sit down because the severity of where landing she tried she got up to let her in they're taking their sweet time they sat down at the same time that we landed and the girl was in there on the phone she was in there on the phone. And I'm just like, man, y'all don't realize, I don't want to do paperwork because had we landed with somebody in there, that's uh, a far um, that we have to report, basically self-report ourselves, and I have to do paperwork for that. And people just have no sense of time or urgency or anything like that. And I don't get it. So next time somebody asks me and we're in initial descent no we're, we're getting ready to land please uh hold it or whatever if you're feeling sick i, I can bring you a bag because i can't I, i've already had that happen another time but we went around and uh we didn't land in LaGuardia, but we had went around and then she finally came out of the uh bathroom after the captain made an announcement so i'm not doing that but other than that everything else was copacetic today nothing else um here's my view of monroe Louisiana, not too much. Um, this glass door doesn't open or else I would have went outside because it says, we're sorry, glass doors are locked for security purposes. So can't go outside, but I'm gonna work out. I have a, another early report, but it's a just a five minutes later, five o'clock van, and but it's a too late day tomorrow. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for day three. Hello everybody, I've made it here to Charlotte's, not Charlottesville, I keep wanting to say Charlottesville, but it's Charleston, West Virginia. And, um, you know, I had to really concentrate on not saying Charlottesville because we were in Charlottesville yesterday. Um, I didn't get to you all this morning because I woke up a little bit later than I wanted to. So I was uh, getting dressed and then, you know, it was just a too late day. Um, Monroe to Atlanta, Atlanta to Charlottesville. It's not even 12 o'clock yet. So, you know, I'm gonna take a nap, wake up, work out, eat and do some other things. But today's flights were very uneventful um, and, and really, really uh, smooth. You know, everybody acted accordingly and everything like that. Um, also, I forgot to tell you yesterday. So I got to work on one of our newly modified 900s, which they basically, the only thing that they did differently was just add like a little placard. I think um, when you walk in and then also every seat has a power outlet so you can charge your phones, tablets, whatever. Um, on our, you know, the, I don't know how many we have. So don't, don't let me lie to you to say we have like five or six, I don't know how many. But normally our 900s don't ha only have uh, power allowance in first class, comfort, and main cabin has nothing. So now they modified to have them all in there. So that's a good thing for the passengers, you know, um, help passenger experience, you know, because some people, they give you a one star because they don't, you don't have a power outlet to charge your phone. So that's a good thing. I don't know if we're getting them on all of our planes. I just know that we might have one or two that are modified. So, um, but I'm finna take a nap. I'll see you guys tomorrow for Go Home Day. Good morning, everyone. It's Go Home Day. Three legs, um, Charlotte, Charleston, West Virginia, West Virginia to Atlanta, Atlanta to Gainesville and back. 
And I think we're done by like 12.30 today, hopefully a little bit sooner. Um, I'm gonna ask if we see if we can leave early from Gainesville to try to get back a little bit earlier. And then I have one day off after every single trip. I can't remember if I told you all that because I um, was off all the at the beginning of the month from like the 2nd through the 9th. So I could go on my cruise with my, uh, my uncle and my cousins. So all my off days was at the beginning of the month. So now I only have one day off after every trip for the remaining of the month. So it is what it is, what you do. You know, the flexibility of it all to be able to do that. Um, I normally wouldn't do that if I didn't have anything planned, but you know, um, I wanted to, you know, spend, you know, go on this trip with my family. And um, that's why, I, that's where we at with it. But I think you're ready to go downstairs. I'll see you guys once I uh, close out the video when I get home. Hey everybody, I made it home. I'm done for the day. I have one day off and um, I'm going to work in my garden. I've already tilled it, put some lime in. I'm just going to try to get a lot of the excess weeds and other other stuff to just get it um, prepped for spring or whatever. Um, as you can see, my peach tree is blooming. My plum trees has already bloomed and the leaves have fell off, but you can see that the uh, the fruit is right behind it. So hopefully I'll get some peaches, uh, I mean some plums this year, but yeah, all my peach trees are blooming right now. And the good thing I love to see is this, these little bees because they help pollinate everything. So I want them to stay here as long as possible. That helps out my garden too with pollination and everything like that. So I am extremely happy to see bees. But other than that, that's all I have for you for this uh, four day trip. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. As always, hug on the ones that you love. Tell the ones that you love that you love them. I'm out.